it's Somalia Day here. Together we are going to be doing a quick stretch. Now this is going to be perfect for any time of day, whether it's pre or post workout, or you've just jumped out of bed in the morning, or you are going to bed. So whatever feels best. Now to begin with, we're going to come down to a seated position. Hands can be in your lap or your knees, and I just want you to roll through your shoulders. Just rolling them back and down and changing directions when that feels good for you. So today, there's no rules here. Big deep breaths and just moving with your body. When your shoulders feel like they've softened a little bit, just bring them into stillness and just coming into your neck now. So just rolling through your neck. Beautiful big circles, half circles, holding where you may Feel some tension or tightness. So we're just moving together today, so you don't have to stay with me, but maybe it does feel good to do that as well. And just bringing your body upright. Let's take a big inhale together, reach your hands to the ceiling. Then your right hand comes down to the mat, reaching over side body stretch. Feel that length through the left side body. And then reaching your hands back up, coming to the other side, your left hand comes down, reaching through your right side body. Allow your breath to bring you back up. And then just your right hand's gonna come to the back of your body. Your left hand's gonna come to your elbow. And we're stretching through our triceps. So you should feel it run down the back of your arm. Just a few breaths here. Just Focus on your breathing. Allow this next 10 minutes or so to just relax you. And bringing your right arm across your body now, coming into a shoulder stretch. You should feel it run down your right shoulder, maybe a little bit into your back as well. I'm sitting nice and tall here. And coming to the other side. Left hand comes up, touches your back, your right hand comes to your elbow, coming into your tricep stretch. Beautiful, big, deep breath. And then your left hand comes across your body, moving into the shoulder stretch. Your next inhale sweeps your hands up and then bringing your hands down to your knees. The soles of your feet touch, moving into our butterfly. So just allow your elbows to come down to your knees and you can just wiggle and wobble from side to side or stay in stillness, whatever feels best for you. I quite like to move a little bit. I feel like it opens me up a little bit more. And once again, bringing the awareness back to your breath. Big, deep belly breath. Feeling this stretch run through your inner thighs, into your groin, and then just gently coming out. Help your knees back to center, rolling over into your tabletop. So hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, and just extend through your right leg. Putting force through your hands, push back into your right toes, stretching through your calf. I love this stretch, it feels so good. Breathing into the area of tension and tightness. Really opening up through the back of your leg here. And changing sides gently so your left leg's now extended. Tuck your toes, put that force back through your hands. And feel your calf opening up on this side. Returning back to your tabletop, just moving into our cats and cows. So our hands are underneath our shoulders still, knees underneath your hips. Move with your breath here. Inhale, drop your belly, open your chest. Exhale, roll through your spine, push the floor away. Imagine your chin's coming to your chest. Inhale, drop your belly. 
Exhale, roll through your spine. And just a few more like this. Move with your breath. Inhale, drops your belly. Exhale, rolls through your spine. And if it feels nice, create some free movements here. Otherwise, just stick with your cats and cows. I quite like to roll through my spine. You might like to push back to a child's pose. Come forward into a half plank. Whatever feels good for you. Roll around your mat. Exploring your body here. And then we're all going to meet in our child's pose. So big toes touch, knees nice and wide. And shift your hips back. You don't have to rush here. Take your time to arrive. Allow your heart, your forehead, your hands feel really grounded here. Returning to your breath. Feel your prana, your energy flow through your body. Feeling really good. Gently bring yourself back up. Come into your downward facing dog. And as you arrive, just pedal through your feet. Opening a little bit more into your Achilles, into your calves, your hamstrings. It feels really good just walking your dog. Coming into stillness, lift through your right leg. And just thread it through into a low lunge. Arriving here, dropping your back knee. Open your chest, sink through your hips. So we're opening into the left hip flexor here. Either stay here with your hands on the ground or come up, clasping your hands and just allow it to rest on your knee. Putting a little bit more intensity into this stretch. If that's too much, bring your hands back down to the floor. Your chest is open, your heart is happy, big smile on your face. And then your hands come down, shift your hips back, half splits, making sure your hips are square here, even them up, feeling that stretch run down the back of your right leg. You might feel quite tight through your hamstring and that's normal. Now here I really just want you to explore how you're feeling. Either stay here for a few more breaths or bring in some movement, just rocking forwards and backwards. A little bit of mobility. If this doesn't feel good for you, please stay in your half splits. And just come back to your breath. It's really nice. And when you're ready, you're meeting me back in your downward facing dog pose. Nice work. Coming to the left hand side, lift your left leg up and sweep it through into your low lunge. First arriving with your hands on your mat, sink through your hips, open your chest. Either staying here or your hands clasped coming to your knee. Sink through your hips a little more. Big deep breaths, feel that right hip flexor opening. Just sort of pulls along here. Gently bring your hands down, your hips push back into your half splits, feeling that opening through the back of your left leg now. Some big deep breaths here, your hamstrings are quite a tight muscle, you want to make sure you have a flat back, really active in the stretch. We're now bringing in some movement, or just hanging in your half splits, whatever feels best for you. Like I said earlier, I quite enjoy a little bit of movement, a bit of mobility whilst I'm stretching. But it's your practice. And then you're meeting me back in your downward facing dog pose. Push the floor away. Coming back to your right leg, bring your right knee into your right wrist. We're coming into our pigeon. So here in your pigeon, sitting nice and tall, your hips are square. Your right foot is flexed, protecting your knee. You shouldn't feel any pain in your knee whilst doing this. If you do, make sure you flip over and do a figure four stretch. Exactly the same. Otherwise, you're hanging out with me and you're laying down on your mat. Coming down as far as you can and just taking your breath into your glutes, your hips here on the right hand side. And just see if you can soften through your shoulders, your heart, 
even your big toes. We've got five more breaths here. And on your next exhale, gently coming up, tuck your back toe, push back to your downward facing dog, coming to the left hand side now, left knee to left wrist, flexing through your left foot, sitting nice and high, your hips are square, and slowly coming down to the floor. Remembering if you've got any knee pain, making sure you're flipping over, doing your figure four here. Settling down, taking your breath to the left hand side now, feeling through your glutes, your hips. Softening through your shoulders, your heart, your bottom. Five more deep breaths. On your next exhale, slowly coming up, tucking your back toe, push back downward facing dog. And just walk your dog a little more, allowing your feet to come mat width apart and coming into more of a narrow downward facing dog. We're going to come into a downward facing dog twist. So your right hand comes to your left ankle, shin or behind the knee, you're going to pull your body under. See if you can look towards the ceiling or sky. A beautiful twist through your whole body, really strong through your left hand. Release your right hand on your exhale. Your left hand comes to your right ankle, behind the knee or shin, and pull your body under, looking towards the ceiling or sky. And really strong through your right hand now. I adore this twist. I quite like it. And your exhale brings you back to your downward facing dog. Walk your hands and feet together, coming into a forward fold. Just relaxing through your shoulders, your neck, your head here. And then you're going to slightly come up to a halfway lift. Bend through your knees, your elbows come to your knees here. Clasp your hands together. So we're going to come into some pushback. So drop your bottom down and then push. Push your bottom up, lengthen through your legs. Bend your knees, bottom down, and then push back. Feel that stretch through your hamstrings, it's quite nice. And again, bend and then push back. Lengthen through your arms and then gently roll all the way up to standing. Your shoulders roll back and down. We're going to come into a quad stretch, so bending through your right knee. Holding onto your foot or ankle, open your heart here, open your chest. Your right knee comes to your left knee, stretching through your quad. You may feel it through your hip flexor as well. It's a bit of a balance, so you can hold on to someone or something around you. And then gently let go. I just want you to hug that knee into your chest. Ah, beautiful. Coming to the other side now. So your, your right foot's down, picking up on your left foot, ankle, whatever you can hold. And bringing that knee back, so you don't want to be tilted forward, you don't want to be back here. You just want to be even with your right knee, standing tall. Good job, balancing here or holding on to something. And gently releasing, hugging your left knee into your chest. Release your legs and just shake it out. So we're going to put our hands on our hips now. We're just going to roll through our hips. I'm giving you all my favourite stretches today. I absolutely love this. It's quite addictive. Opening up into your hips. And then stopping here. You're going to give yourself a really big cuddle. And the same thing again, you're just going to gently rock from side to side. And just staying up here feels really good for your upper back. 
your shoulders, and then begin to dip low. You can feel that stretch run through your lower back, your side body, and here, if it feels good, just close your eyes, explore here. Big deep breath, big cuddle for yourself, it's so nice. And then gently releasing, shaking it all out. Let's take a big deep breath together, sweeping our hands to the ceiling. Exhale, hands come down, heart centre, a little bow to yourself. Thank you so much for stretching with me. I hope you enjoyed. And like always, it means the world if you could like, comment, subscribe and share with others. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.